In other news, Financial Secretary Po Chen may not be back in time for the banking summit, but pledged to attend via video conference from Saudi Arabia, where he's stuck after catching COVID. Here's Jenny Slow again. Not even a COVID infection is stopping Paul Chen from updating his weekly blog. Posting from Saudi Arabia, the financial secretary said he's feeling better now after his diagnosis on Thursday. But Chen was less upfront on whether he can make it back in time for the highly anticipated banking summit. I hope to attend in person, but if I can't, I will still attend via video conference, he said. The finance minister also recapped what he called a fruitful trip to the Middle East. He noted while local officials and business leaders were eager to invest in the Greater Bay Area, they were not familiar with the market and hoped to seek reliable partners. Some business executives attending an investment forum in Riyadh will also be in Hong Kong this week for the summit, he added. Chen then hit out at foreign politicians for trying to undermine such exchanges, saying this will only hinder global economic recovery. Some U.S. lawmakers had earlier urged financial leaders not to attend the summit, saying it would legitimize the eroding values of autonomy, free press and the rule of law in the SAR. On a radio program, Financial Services Secretary Christopher Hu echoed Chan's views. Hu said Hong Kong's unique advantages as an international financial center will not be taken away by a few comments. He believes the numbers speak for themselves, as over 12,000 people from 300 organizations are set to attend the Hong Kong FinTech Week, which starts tomorrow. On a separate note, Ho refilled work is underway to better regulate cryptocurrency trading to prevent money laundering activities. A draft legislation will be tabled to the Legislative Council for discussion soon. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.